this After Effects tutorial, let's talk about procedural animations. Procedural animations are generated with expressions to mostly create continuous random animations. I can feel your skeptical look. Imagine you've set hundreds of keyframes to animate random objects. Then your client says, no, I don't like it. It doesn't feel right yet. Helpful stuff like that. The point is you have to touch all the keyframes to change the animation. The fast and efficient way is you use expressions to control the behavior and you use expression controls to quickly change the expression's values. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel, let's dive right in. And animate some text. I've already added a text layer with text. Let's randomly replace one of the letters with a different font. First, we need to randomly hide a letter. We open the source text property and add an opacity animator. And we set the opacity to zero. In advanced, we set units to index. 10 letters, each has an index number starting with one. We link the end property to the start property and add plus one to the expression we just created. The end value is one higher than the start value, zero and one. The first letter disappears. Then let's animate the start value. We add an expression. In the first step, we reduce the frame rate to four frames per second, posterized time and four in parentheses, semicolon. Then we want to make sure the random animation pattern is the same every time we play it. Seed random and let's add five in parentheses, semicolon. The random seed value is five. You can insert any number in here. Every number is assigned to a unique animation pattern. Then we add the random expression, random and in parentheses, zero comma nine. Nine is the max start value. The max end value is 10, which covers all letters. The problem? The expression doesn't return whole numbers. To round the numbers, we add math.round and move the random expression inside the parentheses. Now, every six frames, a random letter is hidden. We duplicate the text layer and change the font to rip trash mirror or whatever you want. Just make sure there is enough contrast in style. So let's maybe change the font color as well. Important is that the letters are on top of each other. So you might have to adjust the tracking. Awesome. Finally, we link the start property of the top text layer to the start property of the bottom one. In advanced, we set the mode to subtract. Change the speed by changing the frame rate in the posterized time expressions. That's so much faster than animating letters with keyframes. And you can combine it with a second opacity animator, for example, and add a typewriter effect. Expressions make a lot of tasks easier to handle and quicker, like text templates. Expressions allow you to create animations that aren't possible with keyframes, like a particle streak, for example. Once set up, you can use it again and again. I know it's overwhelming at the beginning. That's why in my course, we start from zero. In 30 lessons, we go through the basics. Basic expressions, responsive animations, dynamic text animations, and repetitive techniques. A more than 50 page long expression sheet will accompany you, plus bonus content, with even more application examples. Upgrade your skills, and learn how to animate with expressions in After Effects. Make sure to check out the link. Next, let's animate some random scribbles. We grab the pen tool and add a random line with seven points all together or however many you want. No fill, a two pixel white stroke. Let's open the shape property and add round corners to adjust the style of the stroke. Increase the value we select the path, go to the window, choose the create nulls from path script. Points follow nulls. We get a null object for every point. Then we randomly change the positions of the nulls with expressions. 
We open the position property of the first null, reduce the frame rate again, posterize time and four in parentheses, semicolon. Then wiggle and in parentheses four comma one thousand. Four times per second, the position moves max 1000 frames in each direction from the start point. We copy the expression and paste it to the position properties of all the other null objects. Finally, we add echo to the shape layer to add more lines. Let's use the effects and presets window to search for the effect and add it. We adjust some settings, echo time, one, number of echoes, 10. Finally, let's animate some keyframes without keyframes, almost. I've already added a keyframe. It's a polygon shape with four points and animated the scale property with two keyframes. Let's take a look at the value path. That's how the overshoot is created. That's all keyframes we need. Next, we add a null object. Go to Layer, New, Null, name it Controls, and add three slider controls. We go to Effect, Expression Controls, and add a slider control. Duplicate it twice and name them. Min Distance, Max Distance, and Offset Time. Let's change the range of the time offset to zero and one. The principle is we duplicate the keyframe layer and it automatically moves to the right. So it is positioned randomly within the min and max values. The slider controls indicate and we want to offset the animation so that one keyframe animates after the other. Let's open the position property and separate the dimensions. We only need the X position. We want the keyframe to move to the right by a value somewhere between the min and max distance, indicated by the slider controls. To make sure the random value stays the same and doesn't change every frame, we add the seed random expression. And in parentheses, index, comma, timeless equals true, semicolon. More about that in my course or in the expression sheet. Links in the description. Then. We add random and in parentheses, the minimum and maximum values. Let's lock this view here and click back inside the parentheses. We link to the min distance, comma, then to the max distance slider. Now the X position is somewhere between the min and max distance. Then we open the scale property as well, shift S, and add an expression to offset the animation with each time we duplicate the layer. We add value at time and in parentheses time minus index. In this case, time minus two. The animation is delayed by two seconds. To reduce that, we add multiplied and link to the offset time slider control. Let's set the slider control to 0, 0,1. So the offset value is 2 times 0, 0,1 seconds. Let's duplicate the shape layer and the X position is almost the same. We need to add the position value of the layer above to actually move it to its right position. We add plus and link to the X position value of the layer above to add it. And instead of the layer name, we use index minus one. Look at the layer with the index value that is one lower, which is the layer above. And now you can duplicate the bottom layer as many times as you want. And quickly adjust the distances between keyframes as well as the offset. Isn't that great? Learn more about expressions in my course, Animating with Expressions. Link is in the description. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.